Oh yeah. Fusion. Oh, wait, is it is it Fusion 360? Oh yeah, good. It did not fuck up the title. What's up? Episode two. Double drop down. Fusion 360. This is like an epic journey. <clears throat> An epic journey of how I've learned Fusion 360 through unconventional and look at that. Look at that above head. I got stuff starting up the stream with stuff going on already above my head. If you watched me last night, I got pretty tired and I was trying to get through some craziness. And I guess what I did. I found some things out today. Let's just jump right in. We can't even we, we can't even wait. There's no introductions. I did get mid-journey last night. That was probably a little, the only crazy thing that I had to invest in because that was so good. We're going to look at that in a little bit. But check this out. If you remember from last night, I did not have this uh, figured out. I have a version of my glasses that I worked on. I tuned it up just a little bit for probably the last hour or so so that I can get to this point. I think I fixed a lot of the stuff. I was able to get this to come up. I got the little porthole. You didn't watch the porthole stuff last night anyway, but I did that today. I feel like there's still an issue with this drawing or something on this face. Watch, if I turn this off, check this out. This is so sick. Here's all my drawings now, which I should have done in the first place on the proper level. I don't know how I was supposed to do that, but anyways. You can kind of see a 3D exploded version of my 2D object. And then you throw on the, the frames and this is what you get. All right. So the thing I want to do, and you saw me meticulously doing it last night, is I was clicking through the individual frame faces of some stuff in this drawing. And it was a pain in the ass because I want to put some chamfers on things. I think it's cool. Put chamfers on, make these nice curved corners so that I could, uh, <clears throat> it, it's gotta feel smooth. I'm wearing these things right now and it doesn't really hurt, but it's a sharp edge just around these edges here. And so I wanna, I wanna make them a little bit more rounded. Might even give it a different look. Uh, not that these ones don't look good. I think, let's see here. Let's get to the front cab. So as you can see, it, it's like a very sharp line, very sharp. You can feel that like a, like a razor. So if that, I don't know, it hasn't really hit into my eyes because it's hitting right here in my nose. That's the biggest part. And that's crazy. I don't have anything from my nose. I guess it leaves a little mark on there. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Um, so what I want it to do is I want it to still feel kind of, I guess comfortable would be the right word in my nose right there. Because I'm a little nervous that it won't based off of not having chamfers on, on some of these parts. Like this part right here looks a little bit sharp. But before we do that, what I should probably do is just make sure my sizes are down before we get these all this chamfered out. So what I think I'm gonna do is let's let's get a prototype print going here of just this piece. So I should be able to select that and is there a way to like save it? That's just saving it. But um like export it. How do you export these things? Look at all these things I've been working on. Eee. All right, there's got to be an easy way to, to export. Select it and export it. Um, so here we go. Oh, these are insert methods. Probably right click on this and say export or something like that. Let's see here. Is there a different way to save it? Oh, here we go. We are gonna go, okay, that's an archive file for that. No, 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 I'll just go straight up STL. And I'm gonna throw that one in. Let's throw this one in the desktop. Export, exportante. <laughs> All right, sweet. Oh, you know what? Shit, you weren't watching a damn thing. You're just watching me look at a computer right there. <clears throat> but not the actual computer. I need to get that that smooth because look at that. So I could, I mean, it's kind of nice that jumps on there, but um, let's see what's on the bench here. What's this one have? 
You can go to that 3D printer. Ooh, there's something on the nozzle. We're gonna have to work with that. We'll keep them all on right now. Let's see here. What does this get me? We don't got a game on. Once this exports out, we'll be good. So while we're waiting for that to export out, let's just go look at some uh, AI stuff that I've been doing lately. Um, hold on a second. Let me check something out. Let me see if I can swap a screen. Never mind. All right. What's this one? This was actually used the double drop down uh, prompt to get this to get this to come out like that. I said I tried to put Adam and Ryan, and I just put and and Ryan, and you got this this interesting person here human kind of looks human maybe it's not then i crashed it because here i was trying to make a pug i did not tell it to put it in clothes I was, not a pug uh a pit bull i was like show me a pit bull and this is this is actually it puts it in the collar i did not do that that literally there it was this was my thing pit bull this one, pit bull, dog, playful, happy, full body image, whole bunch of stuff, and that does not look like a pit bull. That one looks interesting, but it looks also very sad, like something's happening. This one, I don't even, I don't even know what's going on with that. It's like feathers and ee. This one kind of looks cute, actually. Now that I look at it, it looks like the dog's under some stuff, but then at the same time, like wrapped in it like a mummy. Look at this one. This is the cat. When he was born, this is the cat in his later years of life. I like this one. It's one of my faves. Got some cats. Look at this dog. Oh, it's so cute. He has a hairy tongue, though. A little bit. Maybe that's his chin. That's a cute dog. Been working on that one. There's not some non-cutie ones in there. Like, this one will look a little bit interesting. There's where the cute dog came from. Look at this creepy one right here. It's a high res image one. All right, sorry, I had to get some text on this one in the bottom right looks really cool now that I look at it, like this big old background. I think this is actually what I was going for most in terms of a thing. So if that's the case, what one was that? That was you, let's do V4, because that's actually what I was looking for most. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna do a live. Oh wait, let's see, did we get our save yet? Yeah, we did. Cool. Let's go down here and see if it's uh, processing. Oh, nice. We get to pick which one we're going to up-res. I don't know. That one with the planet's looking pretty dope right now to me. But that first one has a little bit more details in the face that I like. See why they give you four. Kind of makes it makes it a challenge to pick which one. Oh wait, wait. Oh sick. Oh my goodness. That looks so badass. It's definitely for me. It's two or four. Oh man. I feel like it's gotta be two. Number, number three looks like it's in a cave. If you had to pick which one, which one do you pick? I feel like I got to go with two because, I mean, one does have some interesting qualities to it. it. even looks like a bigger thing, but it doesn't have the background. It's two foreground stuff. 
I like the backgrounds on the other ones. Background on four, I love. I wish it was number four background with number number two. It's not like I can't do all of them, but I don't. I'm gonna do number two. I feel like two. I'm gonna upscale two. Let's see what that looks like in a little bit here. All right, we got our glasses figured out. We gotta get this on the printer. So while we're waiting for for that to happen, let's uh let's get this thing going here. I guess I could keep that on this screen. And you can watch my my Discord. Oh sweet, is it done? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. That's not even halfway done. Oh, okay. Now it's about 75% done. I love watching the process of it. Think about it. Sometimes I've seen it and it's not good. And then like it takes a change and it just turns really good. So we're up resing number two over there. I think that was a good decision. So because it looks like there's a bunch of them. And I like it because it's like a submarine. It's like a biomechanical octopus. I think that's what I asked for. And this one does exactly what I would want it to do. It looks so good. Ooh, I love that. I want to save that right now. Make sure I save the AI deliciousness. Okay, getting back into the game. Let's go and print our test piece. gonna make sure I could actually fit it into the thing this is the v8 glasses frame see how that came out oh it looks good look at that brand spanking new Ooh, and I can chamfer this one that ridge is feeling really good in there oh wait wait let's see here there's that stupid point issue it's like right here I mean it's not bad all right, what the heck is what the heck are we listening to here? Let's look at these. Let's go. Let's get into some bit chip music. All right, we got this. We're going to process. Let's see, infill. Yeah, we do not need much. We're gonna do this on pet G. Should we just do it on PLA? I feel like we have to do it on PLA at some point. Not today though. <clears throat> it's not loaded up. 35 minutes, that's a good amount of time for me to work with some chamfer. Oh, look at that. Hold on a sec. This is gonna be so much better than my other frames. Let me tell you. The other ones are all jacked because I've had so much, um, so many different merges with other materials. Like this looks like it's just nailing it. All right, hell yeah. gonna save this dude we're gonna what yeah fuck it we're just gonna put v8 we're gonna do the right thing though times one v8 i don't know if we're gonna see this part but v8 uh test p print and we'll do pli nope fetchy Okay, I'm a little nervous about this though. Let's see here. Let me see down the layers how this looks. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I think we're good. We're right on the, right on the mud knee. I was a little nervous about this part right here if you were curious, because I wanted to make sure that there's just enough around here so when you have that pop, that, that interesting pop, it works really well. All right, let's do this. Uh, you save it? You got it. We're going to the back cam. We're gonna go back to the printer back over here. And let's see here, we're gonna turn off some of this stuff. Actually, the nozzle we might keep on for a second. And when we're gonna turn that guy off. Ah, oh, we can keep that one, it doesn't matter. And we'll go to the GoPro. And 
and let's see here. There's the 3D printer. All right, can't see my face. Just a disembodied head. Can you see me if I did this? I don't have any abilities to switch that. I would just have to turn off these guys right here, which we could do. It doesn't matter. All right, we're going to get this print on. Uh, let's see. Got my pet G in here. You can't see any of this. I'm going to try to show you. I'm trying to get this camera fixed up, though. It's kept falling off. The damn heat. Global warming. There we go. Looks good. Clip off some stuff from that nozzle. Get some nozzle work in here. Clipped off. It's good. Oh. I need my coffee. Where's my coffee? What do we get here? I'm good? Let's get the print started. Glasses Brain V8. Sweet. Alright, so here's the old glasses. bad. I'm not saying they do. This is a multicolor print version too. This is the last versions that I've been printing that are like fully updated after I did all the, the merges and so I recreated these from scratch so that I could do some additional work on them in Fusion 360. So I'm pretty stoked. Here so that uh, we're just I'm, I'm biding time here. Just try to get this thing to heat up. These are the ones I already did. did. These are the, the new sides. Man, I'm actually pretty excited. A couple years at being able to work with this and get this all set up. Oh, shit. Well, this is just a prototype. Go back over to the bench. All right, so we'll we wait for that to heat up. We are going to get ready, finish our fusion work here. I did not forget that sweet ass picture though that I got. Look at this thing. Oh, can I up res that one? Upscale to max. Hells yeah. I want that to happen. Biomechanical tentacles on a cyberpunk octopus investigating crash ships in deep space. Supernova in the background. Hells yes. So if you upscale it, I suspect it's going to just add more pictures, p pixels to it. That's not the upscale 100% yet. It's still doing the upscale. When was this at? They are upscaled by... I think it might already be upscaled. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see in a second. I like that you could see my back back there. Okay, nope, we don't want to do that. Cancel. And home. To get to the chamfering, 
I'm gonna have to go back to here, I believe. Actually, it could even be, yeah, it has to be here. I'm pretty sure it has to be here. So check out this trick that I was, that I was figuring out myself. So I wanna do, I could turn off all these sketches. Actually, I just do it like this, turn off sketches. So on the frame, what I want to do is I want to do a chamfer right inside this recessed thing. That's where the glasses are going to snap in. And so I want them to have a little bit of a, like a little bit of an edge to do that with. So my question is, do I chamfer these things or do I just chamfer the inside of here? I think it's, I want to try to do the inside. So I've been practicing with these things. So selection priority, you could do face priority. That just gives you a priority level. And then I was gonna add these filters that I found and I just added, you can do select all or and then deselect all. And then there's even select through, which I hate because that's where I was getting all kinds of shit on the other side. But this time I want to say just body faces. So if I do that, I could individually click through here and oh well, I gotta get on a chamfer screen. I could go in here and I could, well, I could click and you, and you individually click different things. Now, hold on a second. Let me look at my select priority or my select filters. And look at that. I need to make sure that we'll deselect it all and just do body faces. There we go. Now I can't accidentally select those things that was annoying me before, if you remember from last night. Okay, so that would be a way to go through it, but check out this. Now that I put on those filters, I could use this tool and basically if you select the entire face in your selection, you're not, and you can select multiple at a time. So I'm hoping that this is gonna speed up my workflow. It's a little trick. Selecting multiple faces. I might put this in the, in the notes of the video. Cause I think this is what's interesting about pulling together. Oh, I got this uh, robot pirate invasion. This is a good song. But this is, this is a part of experimenting with software. Like, I honestly do not know Fusion 360. I've looked at some videos and it's always like, do this and this and this, but it, it, it's like when I wanna say, okay, well, I wanna make this thing. Sometimes I just gotta jump in and start playing with things myself. Learn, make mistakes. Oh, oh Jesus, like that was a mistake. I think I just made a mistake and now I lost everything. So I gotta start over again. Snap. Wait, did I lose everything? I guess I did. Oh, no, I didn't. I was still in it. I forgot that I had closed it up earlier. Continue. What's our heat at? 247. Get that guy. So it's just like a pull and select and see what I was doing wrong and what I screwed up with earlier is I started the select from the uh, lower right and went up. That's a different type of select. You always have to start from the upper left and pull down and you'll get in a selection type. And the reason why it's not selecting the other things is that you have to fully encompass thing. But look how, how fast that was to get through that. I don't know why it selected to that. Shouldn't have done that. Deselect that. Okay. Look at that. Can we chamfer this? That's the question. Should have probably tried. Two. Let's see if we get a two on the chamfer. Point two. Oh, snap. Did we do it? Oh, nice. Okay. Let's try three. That looks good. 
It was a nice round kind of corner there. Okay, so what I want to try to do next is I want to add another chamfer. And in this case, let's see if I could do it this way. Um, Uh-oh, I've got some 3D printing going on here. Uh-oh, shoot. Got to get over here. All right, look at that. It's looking good. Got to watch that first layer. My lord, that's one of my favorite things to watch on these. It's a little flat on that side, right? Maybe it's a little... It's alright, this is the prototype. It's not even the full frame. You gotta have a little piece. A little, little side of it just to see off to the side. The first official version. This is version 8 before I even printed it. What happens sometimes is if you start it, and I only have one layer of brim on this. Ooh, that's not even a brim layer, I don't think. Or, uh, is that brim? I don't think that's even what brim is. It's just the outside layer. Getting that out of there. Send it again in the print. All right, I'm happy with that. I like it. Listen to some beautiful 3D printing sounds in just a second here. Turn off the music. We'll keep that one on. How about that? We'll keep the, the nozzle one on. Let's get back to the screen work. Okay. Next up, we got to do some more chamfering. What I think I'm going to do is try that selection method, but I'm going to try it up here now. Let's see if this works. Okay, it does. It doesn't have select through, so that's nice. So it has to, you have to, I have to see the face. So why is it selecting? 
Oh, maybe it's selecting underneath? What's going on here? It's just saying that that section is not good. Oh, wait, we're going to stop that. Yeah, you can hear that in the background, so that's good enough. You can listen to that. You don't. I don't want the chat all littered with all these freaking songs and nobody's speaking. It's depressing. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on, I'm going to go through here and stop selecting what I just did because I made a mistake. Oof. Why is that like that? 81 faces and one edge. Oh no, I don't want this edge. Okay, the edge is deselected. No, it's not. Okay, that's, it's deselected now. So we'd wanna add a second selection, right? Wait, if I just click this one, okay, this is the second collection. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm asking. Fuck. <laughs> oh, why would you hit Control Z, my friend? I should have just clicked. Should have saved that. Wait, can you just say, oh, you can, dumbass. This is my fault. You can save selections. See, it keeps doing this. Select all, I just want the faces. Every time it like defaults back. But look how fast I got. Good thing we've been able to find this tool. And see, so I feel like I was being more uh, effective there. I, <clears throat> I was not. And so what I gotta do is deselect all these. I don't know how I got that other side. It's good they use that other tool. Okay. Do 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 do. Selecting all of you. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Get this. I'm gonna sh save this chamfer. I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna save this fillet, and then we're gonna go on to another fillet. We're gonna do this in phases. So, rules of the road when you're doing fillets with complex shapes, or at least. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Gazoom tight to myself. Got something in my nose. Piece of 3D printer dust. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. The trick is trying to get this angle to be just perfect so you can get as many of them as possible. See, it seems to like deselect it sometimes if, you do, if you've already got it. This one should get all the rest. All right, we're there. What did we get last time? Point, I think it was like a point three. Try four. Right, I'm gonna keep four and I'm just gonna say, yes, do that, save that step. So now it's not coupled with any other step. We got that chamfer done quite well. So now I wanna do another one. This time, let's check our select filters. You see, everything turns on for every time you redo this. So I want body faces. Now, the, now I don't know if the priority is changed. Nope, that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing I was just doing, but I'm gonna do it with this top row. Okay. I should be able to deselect that. Okay, I will be able to deselect that. It's just going to be part of it for now. Don't worry about that. We'll turn that off at the end. 
so this is the back side of the glasses. And I'm curious. Actually, let me just try what it, and see what it does. So I can't even do it yet. Okay, let me just try. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's too much. Okay, so I don't think doing it on this inside one is gonna work. So we're just gonna cancel out of that and it keeps the other chamfers. Now what I wanna do, and what we were trying to do last time is I'm gonna have to go forward so I can see where this is. And so we're gonna have to stop like right here because we want the chamfer to stop here. So then if we go back to about here, we're gonna use the chamfer tool again. We're gonna go in, we're gonna select the filters, maybe it's just body faces. Okay, we're good. And in this case, we're gonna try to go from here Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, did I get the other side of that? Son of a, okay. Take that out. There's gotta be a selection um, priority. Select face. Let's see what other things. I don't want it to select through. No, see, I don't want that. So how come it selected through? Why is it getting things on the other side? I didn't ask for this. Hmm. All right, well, I was thinking that was gonna be the way to do this, but this might not be the right way. Let me, uh, let me try that other tool from going up from the right. What was going on when I did that? Like, if I did it, okay, no. I'm at, okay, click here. What did that do? Goes through. Hmm. Okay. Guess that was an undo that I just did. question is can I so I don't want to do the fa face I just want to select let's see body faces body faces select all deselect all I just want the faces exactly got all, everything I want wait paint selection press and hold the left mouse button then move across the object to select I like that Use select filters, okay. Oh shit. The fudge! It says use the left, oh. It's not painting. <laughs> it wasn't painting. What the hell is this? How do I use this? Press and hold the left mouse button to move across objects to select them. It, it made it look like there was like that red thing you would just like freeform selection. Yeah, that's what I want. How do I get on that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Gotta add something. <laughs> Why is that not working? Oh, because it has to encompass it completely. Hold on a second. Window selection, component drag. I don't want it. Select by name, select by size. Because it, it's wanting me to completely encompass it. And if I do it that way, it gets a bunch of other shit. How do I just do one side? I just want it to do this one side. I swear there's a way to do this. Okay. So if we take that off. I'm gonna go back to window selection. 
or select. Okay, there's face priority. Nice. Okay, faces. What did I... Shit. I, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, I'm a normal select. Okay, I'm a normal select. So then we're going to do select by face. That's what we want. And what filter here? Yeah, body faces. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to click them all. I thought I would I'd be able to do a real quick and, and easy way to do this. No. Nope, it's going to screw me and make me do it manually. I'm going to put uh, 0.5 on here. That's good. That's exactly what I needed to do. On the railroad to success, it's sometimes slow. You got a choo-choo train, some coal. You got to click real slow on the train to success. It's going to be a long ass time. I don't want to click that side. We don't want that side chamfered. I'm going to put a 0.5 on there just to make sure it's working as we go. Give me no airs. Give me no airs, please, sir. Thank you. Okay, we got 35 faces. We're just going to do this in, in spurts. Five. Aha. And what makes that note? Control now. Let me see how this is. I like that though. I wonder, can I chamfer and go in time? Hold on a second, I need to see something. Just held the chamfer. Okay. Nice. This is going much smoother today. Am I lagging? No, I'm not even lagging. Hey. Thought we were picking faces, not freaking lines what this fish is this look at that this chamfer's looking mighty fine and then this one over there it did no have to hold the I think there's like a snap on there is no way that I just instantly go and just click that line so perfect every time some error messages here and actually this might be good because we don't want this why am I what am I clicking this for let's deselect some of this Take it all the way back to there. 
Interesting. Okay. So we don't even want this one. Fish. Oh. Is it that whole edge? What's the deal here? Okay, so we got it. Let's see what that does for us. If we move it forward here. Interesting. I don't like that. I don't know what that's doing. Let's see what we can do about that. Back to the chamfer. Yeah, it's selecting that stupid edge. I don't want that edge selected. There we go. That does. Okay. Um, how am I gonna chamfer the front of this then? Cause I've been chamfering the front. I guess right there. It's just, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Let's see here. I'm just gonna try something. I select it's not bad what I, I'm just disappointed because I want some better chamfering at the front of this and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it with, with my current setup here because I need let's see here let's see if I can chamfer that that'll be a point five. I think I can't because of that edge. Hold on, let me add some more edges here. Selections is going to help this. Sometimes it did. I did it before, and I selected a bunch of stuff, and I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, it works. Here you go. I think this is going to be where I'm going to have to really focus on it. I wonder if I could do it just to edges. Can I just do it to edges? separate operations point let's see here oh one it's probably because of these ones up here let's see here Woo -wee, what just happened So far, the chamfering looks pretty decent. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get to this end here. Let's see. Oh, I'm doing it. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back to this chamfer step. Select some more. The great chamfering. So mesmerizing it is to have a 3D printer that makes noise. Okay, this should be at 0.5. Let's see if we can get it there. Sick. All right, we did. Now we're stopping there because that hit okay. Commit, commit to the chamfer. Stop in there because it hits this feature right here and you can't chamfer across this edge. So I wonder if I can do it different here. Yeah, because it's taking that whole edge. <clears throat> I wonder if I can go and say select edges. This is game changer here, potentially. Maybe. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at this good news. You could chamfer an edge. I mean, it's like, I guess I knew that. Because you wouldn't do the whole thing every time. Where are we at? Oh, an error. Now we got errors. This is last two. And we're chamfered. I don't know about this one. This is looking, well... It's like a subtle, because it's like a weird turn right there. I can understand there being some weirdness to that. Okay, let's see if we can get this one. Nope, don't want to take that one. It's a weird angle. Deselect you, sir. Shoot. that one so close I'm not liking that how that came out right there too well. So I wonder if I could uh, let's see here. I'm gonna hit OK on that, and then I'm gonna go back to this chamfer and I'm gonna edit something right here. I'm gonna say not that edge, not that edge. 
Or that not that face. Okay. I'm going to come back up to this chamfer. And I'm going to try to do it. Let's see here. Do another one. No, no, no. I'm going to edit this one. so difficult, man. Why's the program gotta be such a hater? Why's it gotta be a hate? Hating on us. Point one. Fine. Fine. To go back to this guy over here. I had to go that far back, huh? closest I can get for now. I'm going to have to just be okay with it. I really like this corner tightened up right here. Let's see if I can do it. because it's linked up to that top part. I wonder if yeah, you can only do it on that. Okay, I'm going to do it based off of edges. Got that. Okay. Hold on a second. So we might be able to do some stuff over here. We'll make it small enough. Actually, this will be a new one. I won't even mess with this. So I'll just do plus. Let's like that one. Can't even go to that low point one. It says two edges. What's the second edge? This little deal? That's probably why then, huh? Because of that little point. Okay. Oh. 
plugging in values so I can get to point two. One. Point one. I don't know if that does anything. Let's see here. Kind of makes it look nice. Okay, let's see over here. Get some. That's looking nice. Oof. I knew that one wasn't going to work. We're going to have to do some work at not getting like these edges to overlap each other. Okay, where the hell did this select come in? Oh, I see. It's creating an issue up there. Which I'm not going to like. Alright, let's see where we're at. So I need to take that off. Let's awk this. Let's edit this feature. One is it? I think it's this one. I think it's a face. Okay, it's better because it just hits right there. So can we get down on this edge is the question. Uh oh, it says there's some issues here. Some issues. some edges here. I'm trying to make him fancy. That's the goal. Fancy is probably not the right word, but like, um, tuned in. What does this warning say? Fancy, sure. Very fancy. Okay, and this one. Uh-oh. I was just thinking I should have probably not done all this work that I've been doing because I don't even know if they, my test prints are going to be fitting the frames. I like how they came out so far. They look good. Let's go check out the print. Let's see what I got here for the print. Let's see here. So the workshop, that seems like not a great, what can we swap out on the workshop? It's a GoPro. Dual work. 
Woodworks job. Well, I guess he got that, but you can't really pull up the 3D printer in that view. And look at that. Look at that little extra bit squirting off. Let's go check this out. All right, this looks good. Adhere to this thing. Am I on right here? Yeah, okay. Let's get this thing off. Oh, wow. Those look nice. See that? Let's see how they compare to another set. in front of it it looks like pretty close the nose feature is a little different though and it's definitely has the pointiness that I was talking about it's not too bad though all right let's see here I don't have a pair of glasses. The frames popped out of them. Let's see here. I got this set. Let's see, that's the left hand side. Ooh, that one's going to be hard to pop out. I'm not going to pop these ones out because they were actually professionally popped in there. And this is my backup spare set. Where are my other ones? Let me think about this. Oh, I know where they're at. Be right back. All right, back. I feel like I need a, a top down. I've got to turn on that angle of that camera. Well, since we're done with the 3D printer, we can turn off the 3D printer cams. And I've been playing with this camera. I don't know if it's gonna work well. Probably have to adjust the angle of where this is at because I got this big old thing in my face, but that's okay. Let me sit down. So, Turn on our other camera right here. Start doing a little bit of investigation here. One of the first things I want to try is that hole. Okay, so the hole is too, too small. So I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. I don't know if it's the solid structure of this. I mean, it looks good. Let me see with another. Yeah, it's definitely too small. So I'm not gonna get that satisfying pop, so. One of the things I got to work on is that hole, which was probably the only part that I had to really start messing with. This looks very similar to the front here. All right, do we have this camera on yet? Nope. So what's nice about it is the features are very similar to my original pair, which I actually really appreciate. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this thing going. It's called my droid cam. Sometimes it takes a second. There we go, coming online. Maybe. So you could see right there. The thing.
thickness measurements were like just on this one's like probably one layer thicker the the new one but to be able to model something that generally close is pretty good let's see here so the real test aside from this not fitting you can see where they does not fit in there hole is too small could probably cram it let's see here oh wait a second I might have lied I think there was just some extra stuff in there oh shit hold on a second how do I turn on music on all right let's see here Am I gonna hear a snap? Snippity snap? I don't think so, but. Oh shit, the snap is there. I thought it was too small. I just had a little piece of debris in there. Look at this thing. Holy crap. Near first try. First try! The only thing I see is there is a slight millimeter gap in there. Like it could go a little bit deeper. I don't know if you can see that. It's very subtle but I really like how that fits in there like the styling of it I feel this top could definitely use a little chamfer around this thing so what you've been watching me do is chamfering everything else now here's the thing so just those fitting is a good thing to know now again these are my old ones so I'm gonna put these old ones off to the side because we're not talking about those anymore we're all we're just working on the new today so I have these this glasses box here. Let me go and get these glasses out. So this is an other pair of glasses. This is the one of the first pairs. Um, the glasses is not. This is just another version of um, glasses. But the the actual frames in here were the original frames I used as kind of the first measurement when I started building my glasses the first time. So what I'm going to try is we're going to see if I can't put the lens in into the glasses right now. So let's do that. Let's pop that little guy out of there. And see if we can get pop them popped in there. Okay. Woo! Those pop in and out pretty too much easy. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. Now, again, these are original pairs, so they, they, they fit, like, perfect. It's almost like it's too big. Like I gave it too much room. All right, so then we're going to go in. I'm taking off my glasses. I'm actually taking off my physical glasses that I wear right now because that's actually the test because these are my latest and greatest. So I'm going to pop out. My glasses there. I'll put mine off to the side. Do does does my glasses fit? That's the question. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Let's see here. Obviously, I have to do some shaping on this, but look at that. That fits super good. So I got the glasses to snap in. Wait, wrong one. But the lens snaps in there too. Talk about tuned in, just being able to, to measure that and get that so good. That makes me happy because what I have printed out right here, what what is here, I have a full pair of glasses I could absolutely use. This is in comparison to my actual glasses. So I got my new set. Now the difference is, and what this affords me, is the ability to edit those. I can edit those, I could put the chamfers in, I could print it out, and I'm gonna have a potentially a full pair of new glasses here shortly. So what I'm gonna do, 
So I'm going to pop this thing back out and get my glasses fixed up and get back on my way. So pop those out of the tests. The test was a good test. You always want to try to do that in the beginning. Make sure you got all your stuff in play. I'll pop my my glasses right back into my original frames or the frames I'm wearing right now. I guess I'm gonna have to show you how I shape these too when I get my my heating gun. Only thing is I gotta get these like really decent glasses so that I don't get these fingerprints that are always on them. It's funny the glasses that I'm wearing right here or at least the ones that I'm washing off I screwed up. I bought them and within the first bit of time, you can kind of see it, thankfully it doesn't mess it up too much, like right in this edge right here, I uh, heated it up and it screwed up the glasses. So don't heat up your actual glasses while they're in the frames. You have to do all the heating and adjusting of your frames completely devoid of having the lenses in them. Then you gotta pop the lenses in. All right, all right, I'm back in order now. I am super stoked. That is awesome. For it to get that close with basically my first shot at really giving a good try in Fusion, I love it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave these guys here. We're going to go finish up in Fusion. I can't be streaming all day. I got other shit I got to do. But what I'm going to do is finish off the, a pair of the glasses and see if I can't, uh, can't get a, at least a decent pair. That was my goal. Get out of here. It's Labor Day. But I wanted to get a decent pair of glasses before I walked out of the door today. Before I do that, I wanted to show you a couple things. So on the 3D printer itself, uh, when you're cleaning it up, <clears throat> what I like to do is get that nozzle cleaned off first. You don't want that thing. So I'm going to have to bring this nozzle in and go up a little bit. Now I'm not actually closing these up here. I don't want to like trim that nozzle off. So that's why you got to be a little careful on how you do that. So that's good. Get that nozzle. Oops. I just knocked the camera. That's kind of cool angle though, right? You can see my whole hot end right there. All right. Let's see here. Let's get that that juiced up for you there we go okay that's a good angle what I'm gonna also do is I got to clear off the bed what do I do when I finish up a print well I get this uh, sandpaper oh we got a frozen camera huh interesting let's see here can you see the front cam somebody says that the camera's not showing but uh it shows that it's showing on my end so maybe you're frozen on your end let's go back over here let's see here Yeah, see, that's going. I don't know. I'm watching a, an output of the stream right here. So I guess you can hear me, but the camera looks frozen. Well, I'm going to have to keep going. Interesting. So maybe you're seeing this, maybe you're not. But basically what I'm doing is I am massaging the bed here and I'm getting it ready ready for prime time for the next print All right, here we go, and that's good to go. That'll be ready for next time. And let's go finish up on the other end here. All 
All right, back in action over at the bench. I don't know if you can see me out here, but I see myself on the camera big, about to go to full screen. And we can continue with what I've been doing here on the on the um, the chamfering. So I noticed, and I was hoping, let's see here, if I can adjust. I'm going to do another chamfer up here. Just like that face. 0.5. Do you want some music? Get some of that in the background. And I'm going to do, what, 0.5? 6. I think there could have been some some lag or some stuff that happened at that moment, but at least what I was outputting the twitch from my monitor was saying that it was it was all good. All right, I'm gonna actually go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit chamfer to point three. Nope, too much. Two. Okay, get a two. If I go back over to this drone, I think. Oh, wait, here we go. I'm going to edit this feature. Right, let me cancel for a second. Let's see here. The sketches on this are. Okay, they're part of the frame. Where the heck is that sketch? Oh, oh, here we are. What I want to do is I want to adjust this. That was one thing I noticed I wanted to, to mess with. So I think it's this one. See, that's always always the thing that I'm I'm enjoying okay finish the sketch yes we should be there but I want to go back over here to this sketch maybe one right here yeah that one right there so how do you how do you change it how can you select things from a sketch is the question. So if I hit select here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I can't edit a sketch or something. All right, let's go to the front here. I can I can adjust that later. Because what I want to do is I want to make this, this shape a little bit bigger. But I don't necessarily need to do that right now. Last thing I got to do is, okay, it clicked in just fine. So I think what I want to try to do is on the front. Yeah, what do I want to do? I want some chamfers on this front here. And where I want it is all across this edge. Chamfer tool, right there, 0.5. See if we can do it. I'm gonna 
do 0. 0.005. Okay, that's not enough. 0. 0.1. 0. 0.4. Shit. I'll put 0. 0.5 for now. So things I'm going to want to learn is like why I can't get chamfers in areas that I would expect it to be. Like this is a key place that I would want the chamfer to ha happen. Because it's kind of like an inside of the front. And if it looks, okay, it says built can be created because of reduced size. Oh, wait, no. We do it. I can't tell if it's working or not. Oh, it's not. The error is still persisting. Point one. Let's see here. So I do got a point one. Point two. Point one. Maybe that's it. Maybe I can just have a very slight chamfer. And I don't even know if that would show up on a 3D print, to be honest with you. If I had really fine grain details, maybe like on a resin print it would. Because this is so subtle. And now it's starting to screw up. Sometimes it's hard to figure out where you're at. Sometimes when you have enough segments selected, it, it corrects itself. I don't understand that. That's a perfect example. Oh, I gotta remember I'm inverted, that's why. Make it around, baby. Come on, come on. And I got a lot more to go. Inverted. Oh God, I'm almost there. Okay. I wonder if I make it, if it'll let me do it a little bit higher. I'm going to doubt that, but we'll see. Cause I think it was like a 0.4 on the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we got it. At least all the way around there. That's good. We got it at point one. Can we go point five? Yes, we can. Sick. Let's actually go point 0.9. Oh, nice. Wait a second. Can I do that on the outside? Well, that looks good. Because it's the front of it. Hmm. Let's 
see here. It's gonna look so clean and fancy. I think we're good. I think this is it. Oh yeah, I was saying up here I wanted some chamfer. Can I do that? Oh shit, you could. But I don't know if I want to chamfer the ins inside of it. That little snap is an important part of it. Okay, so let, maybe I could do it with an edge. Ah. Oh. Do the whole edge. Painful is that. Wait, hold on a second. Maybe I can do... Um, Let's just, okay, let's just try it. We're gonna do 0. 0.5. Okay, maybe not 0. 0.5, 0. 0.3. That's funny, you can't do 0. 0.3. I haven't tried it where you can't go lower. 0. 0.4? Nope. Interesting. So what would be the repercussions of this? Let's think here. I don't know yet. I like what it looks like, so I'm gonna we're gonna just gonna try it. We're gonna say screw this. Let's see if we can select this. Modify. No, no, we're gonna mirror. Yup. Uh oh, do we crash it? Crash the Fusion 360 servers. Get this close. Oh, error, mirror, mirror error. Uh oh. It's no good. Oh wait, selection criteria, body. There we go. Create, mirror. And we're gonna join it. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, so I was doing something yesterday. What was it? I was like... Oh, wait. So, if I... How did I do that? I think I just was adding more fillets. And I was like, I want to add a fillet to this. What, point five? Okay, that's fine. I won't, I won't do it. Just stop getting all crazy on me. Must have accidentally like picked the whole thing and it's trying to do it to everything. You, there's got to be like a hard stop where it can stop trying to do that crap. Are we back yet? Nope. All right, we'll wait for that to happen. Let's see where we're at here. Did I ever look at this? The super high def version? I don't know if that was actually upscaled anymore. I guess it was already upscaled. Yeah, that one looks less cooler. 
feel like this one was the right one. We got Fusion 360 back yet? Nope. We may have to close it. Oh, do I want to close it? No, 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 no. I want to wait. Lose on my chamfer. I think it should recover. I think it should save. Fairly close. Let's see here. I'm going to go back to this. Because I picked this top one. This, these two do look like iterative. Maybe I should just go for one that's like completely off scale and just do that first one. Version on the first one. I did it. I'm gonna watch it live. Ooh. All right, let's look at the first render. So what we got is only a couple percentages. Uh oh. That one's looking pretty scary. Oh, sick. <laughs> yeah. Very organic. That's only at 37%. Oh, man, the colors on these are so good. This one's going to be way harder to pick from. It's only at 46% right now. This one feels like inside the... That one, all in the matrix or something like that. I love the feeling of this one. This one up here looks really good too. Jesus, how many times are we going to play this song? There's, There's got to be other songs out there. Let's check this one out, lo-fi. Ninety-two percent. Mm, they're so they're all great. These are all great. Okay, it's done. The eyeball in this one's looking good. Look at like there's like a skeleton in this one. You can see like a skull up in this, and they're like the background is really badass. Yeah. It does so good at making creepy things. I can't I can't even pick. It's just they're all so good. I I think the feel of this one. Is one of my favorite in that the, the shape. Mm, I'm not like totally bought into the shape. Like I like the shape of this one, the whole appeal of this one. You know, it always happens. It's like four is what I thought I was going to be into, and now I'm looking at one and two. And then if you up res one of them, you know. I've, I bought this thing just to play with. Let's just up res one, because that's the one I think I like. And I'm going to up res two. We're going to see them both. But we'll wait for that to happen. Let's see if I'm unstuck here. I might be stuck. Let's see here. Oh, no. I'm back. Yes. I'm back in action. So we're, we're, we don't need... The whole oh that's why it was selecting every face on the entire thing that's stupid okay we have a five on that. Nope. 
I'm getting ding. I should have just saved before and canceled this. So I'm gonna do. But I don't want that little divot right there. That's gonna sit right on top of my nose, and I don't want that to to get at me. All right, let's go see where our our renders are coming in. They're both upscaled. Let's, let's journey into this one. That's just like a biomass. Biomechanical. Looks like there's like a human right over here. Getting sucked up. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is the right one. This is the one. You got another one of those creatures in the back there. <laughs> it looks amazing. I love it. I guess I'm still waiting over this one. All right, we got to do, let's do one more. Um, Discord, what should we do? Which kind? We're on mid journey. We just do something fun. So imagine. Oh, I already got imagine on there. Let's try this 3d printed glasses on a blonde alien creature chilling in his space copter yeah gonna be uh, ridiculous you got to get some of the fun stuff all right let's see if it even pops up with some ideas Ooh, on a blonde alien creature chilling in his space helicopter I don't see any hair I like how all aliens end up just being like okay these are better This one kind of looks like a mummy. <laughs> this one is just is like the glasses, the 3D printed glasses. Oh, that's a that's great. Okay, these aliens are cooler now. At first, I thought they were gonna be lame, but they're badass. That's it. Oh man, that top one looks dope. I mean, this looks like 3D printed glasses, though, for an alien. That looks sick. Both of those top ones are like wins. Of course, these bottom ones are cool looking. Somebody would probably like the little dude one. But man, that top one, upscale it. I don't even need to. I'm upscaling that one for sure. That's probably one of my favorite creatures I've created thus, thus far. I didn't even put HD or nothing on it. If I wanted to 3D print those glasses, I could like edit those and like actually make them oh those glasses look so good look at that <laughs> look at that oh it's a badass alien i love it and he has blonde hair i did with what i wanted to see i want to see an alien with hair because you don't usually see that shit hell yeah <laughs> oh This program's so fun. Woo. I should have probably put like something in the chat that I was doing AI stuff today. I did say 3D, 
360 fusion 360 that is so cool that is so cool let's see here is upscaling him i'm totally upscaling him is that a thing what does upscale to max mean it gave me that option to do that I'm probably burning a bunch of my credits or whatever this is totally worth it though for this one 0% fast. Are we caught up over here yet? Looks like we did. I'm going to cancel that. Okay. I'm going to save. We're going to say fillet champion 101. It's a milestone. We're at V9 right now. One thing I would like to try to heal is this little fillet crap right here. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do it though. Let's go in and get our fillets fixed. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Oh, that's like a face. That's why it's doing that. Try with my select filters. Just edges. Not body edges. Edge priority. Yeah, that edge. That's the one. Can we do that five? I don't think that was what I wanted to do. O oh, one. Let's see how the upscale's going. Is that upscaled? So you don't understand the difference. That one almost looks better than that one. Let's see here. Save image as. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Let's see what happens here. Let's see where this one is. We'll, we're going to check it from my desktop and see if it if one of them looks better than the other. Yeah, that one looks better actually. See, this one says upscaled, but that one has more features on the on the face. This one's like more painty. I think I think I like this one better. I think this is the face. This is the one. This is the animated face. Welcome to Double Drop Down, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, aliens, and everyone out there. My name is Professor Groovy. I don't know what this guy's name is yet. Oh, sweet. Loving it. All right. Let's get back into this guy here. So, it's trying to fill it. it. What, can I just do one? Two. Four. Okay. It's like a reverse fillet. Six. This is definitely not what I would have expected it to do. Nine. Twenty-one. Okay, that's just never gonna be there. Four hundred and twenty. Oh, it came out. It's like a. Oh, that's two thousand. Four twenty. Nope. Two hundred. Oh, four hundred works. Actually, four hundred worked. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get this last. One selected here. That guy. One. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Let's see. I just do 400. Ah, shit. I screwed it up again. Good thing I saved it right beforehand. I wish there was like a stop. 
I don't want to shut down the whole program, but it's going to try to blow that out like 400 millimeters. Shit. I meant to do 40. I mean, I did say 400 because I did 400 on the other side, but then I realized, wait a second, this is a whole different thing that we're measuring here. All right, we gotta go back to the mid journey. Finalize this guy out. So this is this is the one right here. Now, I guess, is he flying his helicopter? We have to infer that he's flying his helicopter. Maybe that's, the, that's part of why his glasses are there. So many cool ones today. The animals. I've been really trying to nail that biomechanical tentacle octopus, but it has not been going. This is one I did the other day that I liked. What did I call this one? Cyberpunk HR Futuristic Men Metropolis. This looks like an element that would be on your metropolis. I wonder. I never picked this one. I kind of like that one. Upscale V4. Wait, wait. Version v V4. Let's try that. Okay, it caught up with itself. Let's do 10. I'll hit OK. Version nine. Let's go get the SD card. Ooh. Metropolis. Ooh, which one is I like this one? Walking across the bridge into the metropolis. Can I zoom in this? See, this one doesn't have people. This one... Okay, maybe that's why I like that one too much. It has people in it. This one seems like... Is that a building, would you think? I guess you're kind of looking over the rooftops this one like I like the in that it infers there's like more depth to the city there's like bridges and then some sort of power nodes honestly th I think they did nail it in this one as far as the as what I think this has this creature at the top of it I don't know I don't think I like the ones where they tried to he put some humans on it. I think I like what you got going on here, man. There's something about the symmetry with this one, though. That's just beautiful in the way that it's cropped. I don't know how many jobs I have to do this with. Let's upscale it. All right, I think we're done for the day. Close Fusion 360. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do one last print. Let's see what it looks like. I'm actually kind of excited on this. Oh wait, let's watch this happen. 57%. Oh, it wasn't people. I'm glad I, I, glad I picked this one now. 67%? Shit, I should have done it like... Oh, that looks so good. Uh, 
I don't like that it's a square. I want like a. Okay, it says upscale beta. Wait, new remaster. Second, Let's see here. I wonder if I could take this and go imagine. Is this something I was thinking happens? And then I drop that on there. And then I say dash dash aspect ratio 1920 1280? Shit, what's the perimeters? We gotta go check it out real quick. Perimeters. Got about a colon. I don't think I was using colon before. So I think what happened is you takes this image it does the same thing and then it uses, I should, this AR, fudge. No, I put two of them. Dash, dash, AR. See, it did, it worked. 1920 by 1280, instead of the square. It actually brought it into different, um... now the question is, is it gonna use that image and then just redo some of the screens? That's what it should be doing. All right, let's see here what we got. For our first pair, we want pet G infill. Oh, it was already at 50. I must have adjusted the other one. 50, let's do, let's do 40. Pet G. see here these are gonna be nice and tuned in okay let's do it I don't know if I, I got the chamfer in there you can see a little bit of the chamfering this is great so I'm gonna just overwrite my other test what was it B9. Actually, what I'll do is this. Copy that. Delete that. All right, see where we're at. Ooh, that one's dark. I think this that top one nailed it though. This top, upper left, because it got it has the moon in the background. It, it has this is it. This is the one for the day, and then we're done. I'm done with mid journeying for the day. Leave you with uh, me starting out my print, and then I'm gonna go on for the rest of it. So 45 layers, and I should have my new glasses. Or at least my, my initial proof of new glasses. This will be good. Okay, we're 30, 35%. Let's see where we're at. 35, 31. It's definitely looking pretty cool.
All right, let's see how much better it got. Oh yeah, check it out. There's a little city in the cloud up there. Is that it? We're done? There's your futuristic city, Geiger style. Love it, looks great. Okay, and we're, we're good on the print. We're about to ready to print. We will see you guys later because I'm out for the rest of the day. I got other things to do. It's been fun with you doing this. Honestly, be able to get that Fusion 360 to where we got it to where now I actually have this all squared away like this. This is, this has been a long time coming. It's like three or four years and I've recreated it after all of what I've learned into this, this version of my glasses, which has similarities to the other versions of it. But the fact that I could go in here and start tweaking things and use this as my base model for future pairs is was a key advancement in my history of being able to do things with modeling in 3D. I, would, I didn't know I would actually make that little curve in there and I somehow did it. The fact that it actually looks like I might be able to wear these is pretty impressive to me right now. All right, thanks for hanging out. Double drop down show. We'll see y'all later. I'm going to leave you with this guy. Think about this. What I'm going to do is open this. This guy right here. Think of this dude in his helicopter. Oop. Not that one. This guy. Flying across the city. Have a good day out there. Happy Labor Day.